Hey, it's Bill here, and here's my thoughts on a great 8-3 victory for the Leafs over the Avalanche. Alright, after that 8-3 win, I guess I need to get my lawn chair out and book my seat for the parade. This is fantastic. Please. Hearing all the radio, I'm hearing all the comments. Oh, we beat Colorado. What a great team, 8-3. I don't know if you saw their goaltending. Now, I'm going to take positives out of this game. There was positives. I'm not always a negative guy. Not a negative guy all the time. Positive. First period was fantastic. Right up until the power play. Everything went well. Deep in the zone. Defense wasn't pinching horribly playing defense, not a lot of chances on, on Campbell, the odd one, but he was standing on his head, and we'll talk about that more a little bit later, but definitely not a bad period, good forward checking, great opportunities, let's get into the game, first of all, they're coming back from a West Coast trip, I've seen the Leafs come back from a West Coast trip many times, and then lay an egg, they didn't lay an egg, great pass out of the zone, give and go between Nylander and Tavares, that pass from Tavares to Nylander, is flip pass, giving him a lead, knowing he's got the skating, and again, who else on the team do you want going on a breakaway against any goalie on the Leafs? Do you want Marner? No? I'll take, I'll, I'll take a Nylander every time. I'm even taking him over Matthews. Nylander buries it. one nothing. Beautiful. And then we keep playing. We're playing still well, deep in the end. And then Wayne Simmons, I don't know when Wayne Simmons has become Dingle Dangle. But he's showing some moves. Maybe that injury last year was, was worse than we thought. I I mean, in this game, there's a couple times where I go, who the hell was that? That was Wayne Simmons who did that move? Maybe we should pay him $10.8 million. Ooh, no, different discussion. Different discussion. Still, very nice move. Gets it out front to Richie. Richie bangs it. Somehow gets through. And at that point, when Spezza then taps it in from behind the net, that's the point where I went, man, I'm glad Darcy Kemper's not in the net. I like this Joan Johansson guy. I like him a lot. I mean, that's terrible. 2 nothing. All right, perfect. And then, uh, you know, I, I the whole point of me watching this game, well, there's a whole bunch of points we watched the game, but what I wanted to focus in on is I've heard all about this Colorado off or defense that plays very offensively. Kale McCarr, you know, Devin Taves, Bowen Byram, uh, just a great defense. And I'll tell you, that first period, <laughs> that ain't great defense. Please explain to me, if, if I'm a Colorado fan, I look at this, now as a Leaf fan, I loved it. I actually laughed out loud. My wife asked me, what are you doing laughing? In a Leaf game, you're laughing? I couldn't believe it. You left Matthews in front of the net by himself. He could have pitched a tent, took a shirt off, got a suntan, and then made the move. Now, I'm struggling here. It was a kind of a weird play coming into the zone. Goes into the corner, and, and, and Kale McCarr takes Michael Bunting and leaves Matthews in front of the net by himself. I, I'm not a, you know, I, I can be called a dumb person, stupid. But that ain't smart. I'm, I'm going to think that ain't the way that the play, the defensive zone is designed up, is to let Matthews sit in front of your goalie and give him all the time in the world. Well, when you do that, it's now 3 nothing. Okay, I'm sitting here going, I'm laughing, I'm chuckling, I'm going, what in the world is going on here? Yeah, this Colorado defense doesn't look like anything to me. And then the power play happens. You're thinking, we could get this to 4 nothing, 4 nothing. And we, there was a couple opportunities. Uh, but what happened? The Leafs got greedy. The best players got greedy. Riley, Marner, and Matthews stayed on the ice for the entire power play. And then made one of the laziest changes at the end of that power play. 20 seconds, I think, was left after the power play was done. It's inexcusable. I'm sorry, uh, the, I love Matthews. That's inexcusable. You had an opportunity with 50 seconds left in the power play to change it up. At least, Riley, get another defenseman on the ice. At least. The very least. Didn't happen. 
they make a bad change. All the players come on and they score with 0 0.3 seconds left. And I went, oh. you just played the one of the best periods I've seen you play all year. Maybe the second period in Anaheim was a little bit better. This was fantastic period. And you did that because you got greedy to try to make it 4 nothing. Now it's 3-1. Now I'm nervous. Because there's no way Colorado's playing like that the whole game. That is craziness. And, of course, the second period starts. Well, how does the second period start, Bill? Well, let's see. We have Justin Hall and Jake Muzzin on the ice. Ooh, that can't go well. No, it didn't go well. Justin Hall with his zero points. Let me explain. Everyone seen, uh, uh, was it uh, Animal House? Zero, 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 zero point zero. That's how many points Justin Hall has. Zero. And he pinches. And he gets caught. And the guy gets behind him on a breakaway. He gets a great chance. And then, of course, he slashes him after the fact. And your power play starts. <sighs> Shaking my... F Someone's got to explain Justin Hall to me. You're telling me Timothy Lilligren is, is worse than Justin Hall? Justin Hall pinches. He got 0, 0. 0.0 points. So now I'm getting a little upset. Frustrated. Upset. They're able to kill off the penalty. Actually, it was a really good penalty kill. And the game continues on, and you're seeing Colorado pressure. I'm starting to see what they're talking about in this Colorado defense. They're driving the play, and Campbell is standing on his head. Big saves on McKinnon. Big saves on Landeskog. Big saves on Kadri. This is not going well. This is The momentum has turned. And then... I, I don't even know how to explain the second goal. I really don't. But I want people to watch the second goal. Because it doesn't start when the goal starts. Rewind it about 40 seconds before Kadri, or I don't even know how Kadri gets credit for that goal. The other guy hit his stick, but what? fair enough. They dump it in. This is an icing 99 times out of 100. Hall is so slow... On a level of slowness that can't be described as only molasses, slow. Can't get there to negate the icing. 40 seconds later, it's in the back of the net. Now, how did, how did Kadri get to the net? He went and destroyed Hall in front of the net. Kadri. I know, he's, I know he plays the game rough. I get all that. Goes and basically says, hey, Hall. Boom, hit you. Laying on the ground. Hall's doing, I don't know, some kind of I'm hurt kind of thing. And then... He allows, you know, a whole defenseman. Maybe maybe the stick is the important thing to take. Well, you know, I'm just thinking out loud in front of their net. And, you know, the other guy, Nishkushin or whatever, Nikushin, Nikushin, hits the puck. Kadri gets credit for the goal. It's now 3 2. It's friggin' 3 2. And Colorado is dominating. Now, these Leaf fans that say, oh, we beat 8 3. Let's get our parade route going. This game could have gone a completely different way. It could have. Campbell stood on his head when it was 3-1. It's now 3-2. And then, remember what I thought in the first period? Thank God they got Joe Hansen in net. Well, I thought, thank God again. Because he gave up a goal that was smelly. Putrid. It's kind of like one of those times when you go into one of those porta potties in the middle of the woods in Algonquin. That kind of smell. Dermont with his first goal of the year. I don't even know how to describe it. It was a flutter ball that hit him and went in the net. Oh, 4-2. If that puck is stopped, which 99.999, the exact opposite of Justin Hall's point total, should be 100% of the time stopped. I don't know where this game goes. But when that goal went in, that was the game. Because the Colorado players are saying, okay, well... Uh, any shots going in today and then quickly after that it was 5-2 and okay again I thought they played a really I thought Colorado dominated that second period like when I say dom they dominated it and if it wasn't for Jack Campbell uh, if you switch those goalies what's the score it, it, I, I think it might be more than 8-3 so let's not sit on our horse and say, oh, we beat Colorado 8-3, we dominated them. We did not. First period, yes. Second period, no. Third period, yes. But I think it goes back to that fourth goal. 
they've got the momentum, and then they let in that pure, putrid goal, and Colorado stopped. And at that point, now Matthews, that was a beautiful play. And now let's talk about the sixth goal. It was a nice pass by Marner. Absolutely. Watch Michael Bunting on this play. Michael Bunting gets destroyed by Kadri. Like a massive hit. They don't even show it on the replay. He got destroyed. He sacrificed his body to make the play to Marner. That's what you need. I love bunting. This is what you need. You need to take a hit to make a play. And he got destroyed. That allows Marner backhand pass again. I don't know what the Colorado defense is, but letting Matthews go to the front of the net is just not a not a recipe for a good thing. And the patience to wait and then get around the skate. That that's just skill. That's skill that only he has. Perfect. And then he scored the goal off the goal post short side. And then Engvall scored the goal short side. And I don't even know if the goalie was in the net when Engvall took the shot. But it's now 8-2. And, of course, they added Kadri added a late goal on a power play, make it 8-3. But, again, overall, I thought the Leafs dominated the third period. So they dominated two of the periods. But I really think the game turned on that goal with Dermont. Their goaltending was terrible. So let's not get our parade route out just yet. I'm going to save that. You know, I've got my case of beer in my lawn chair. I'm ready to go for this parade. Trust me, I'm ready to go. But I ain't there yet. And I'm not going to overreact on an 8-3 Colorado game. It was good. We get the win. I'll enjoy it. I was wearing the other Leaf shirt. It's now 11-1. and I'm happy about this stuff. But I did not like the way the Leafs played in the second period. And let's face facts, Jack Campbell, without him in that second period, it could have got really bad. And thank God they had Johansson in net. Every time we play Colorado, there should be a new rule. Put Johansson in net. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. I'll keep doing them. Uh, I guess the next one up will be Saturday against Minnesota. If anyone wants to check out my darts videos, I can call myself an orb. As I called the Players' Championship quarterfinal, semifinal, and finals all correctly. I'll be starting to do those videos as well. Darts Championship. I believe it starts, World Championship starts December 15th. Some good draws there. I'll do a daily video for that as well. But uh, also, uh, I'll have the Leaf recap for Saturday. I uh, hope everyone has a great day. Cheers. Yeah.